if we are to consider the given question, we are told that copy and complete the table, then also place a tick uh, in the appropriate boxes. All right, so if we are to consider the question there, we are given the collateral, the figure, then non-parallel sides, only one pair, and so on and so on. So these are the given uh, collaterals that we referred before. They are properties from a parallelogram up to a kite. As you have these properties, can you classify from those properties where each can be used? All right. So let's start with the first one, a parallelogram, where we understand that opposite sides, they are parallel and what? And equal. Okay. So there we are given no parallel sides. Is that true? We have here only one pair. No. Two pairs of parallel sides. So this is what we need on a parallelogram. It is it has two pairs. Okay? All sides equal. No, this is not. It's the opposite sides that are equal. All angles are right angles. No, that's wrong. So what we can take is the two pairs of parallel sides and opposite sides being equal. These are the properties that we had on a parallelogram. Two pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Okay. Then moving on to a rectangle, we know that the opposite sides are also parallel and equal. So we cannot have no parallel side. Only one pair. No, this is two. Just like, remember, a rectangle is underward, a parallelogram. So the moment we see a rectangle, it means here we have opposite angles. Opposite sides, I mean, they're equal. Then, what about all angles are right angles. Is that true on a rectangle? Yes, this is very true. Interior angles will be 90 degrees each. So we also have that one. As an additional fact for a rectangle. But as you can see, a rectangle is what? A parallelogram. It has properties. A square, the same thing, opposite sides, parallel and equal, but only this case is that all sides are what? Equal, all of them. So we have two pairs of what? Parallel sides. All sides, they are equal. Opposite sides are equal. Can we say that? Yes, opposite sides, they're equal again. We can say that. Yes, all the sides are equal, which means opposite sides are also, they are also equal. And all right angles, the, the, the angles there that are given are right angled. Okay. A rhombus, same as these, parallel and equal opposite sides, but only that. All of the sides will be equal. So two pairs are there of parallel sides. All sides are equal, just like a square. Definitely opposite sides are also equal. But is it that the angles here, yeah, they are at 90 degrees? No, that's not. We do not have that condition. They are not at 90 degrees. All right, what about a trapezium, a trapezoid? One pair, one pair, only that, one pair. So we cannot say 
no parallel side because there is a pair of parallel sides, which is only, only, only one pair. So that is only one pair. All sides are equal. We cannot say two pairs. We cannot talk about this. Opposite sides are equal. Uh, all angles, no, no. Opposite sides can be equal when, uh, when they say uh, in, in a consideration, not all of them, but it will be just these two. When it is called an isosceles uh, trapezium, an isosceles trapezoid. But we cannot say opposite sides are equal because these two cannot be equal. So that statement is not valid. So the only thing that we could take here is one pair of what? Parallel sides, which is exactly what we have on a trapezium. That is, that is what we have. On what is mentioned there, that is the only property. Okay? Then on a kite... None, no parallel sides. Yes, we do not have any side which is parallel. So this is true. Only one pair. This cannot work. Two pairs. No, all sides are equal. No, opposite sides. No, this is adjacent sides are the ones that are equal, not opposite. All angle are right angle. No, that is that is totally wrong. For you to answer these typical questions, you must read and understand each and every property. So do yourself, guys, a favor. Find time to revise each and every property. You draw these diagrams. You just draw a diagram. You, As it is, you fill in the diagram, place out, uh, write something about that. Then you check with your notes. Am I writing exactly what is in my notebook. That's how you can test yourself. Don't test yourself by just looking into the book. Then you say, okay, I, I, I see everything. I, I know everything. You close your book, right? Each and every, as it is here, you test yourself. A parallelogram, you draw it as it is. You write down its properties. You move on to another shape, all of them. Then you can open your notebook and see if there is any part that you are not yet understanding then you work out on that part revise as many questions after that as many questions as you can that's how you can answer these questions so that is it guys uh till we meet again